Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and we are not quite done with 2022 in review. We've got three more videos coming out this week as we are going to kick off and talk about the top 50 songs, EPs, and albums. This being songs. Um, if you didn't know, I did a well-produced kind of top 10 EDM focused only video. If you want to check that out, it'll be in one of the links above here, one of the cards if you want to see that video. Uh, a lot more well-produced than I would say this is going to be. This is just going to be me pretty much casually talking about my top 50 songs of the year. Uh, the only stipulation is that it is only one song per artist and it's not bound to EDM. So this list, uh, maybe you'll prefer this video over another video, but uh, that's how this list is going to go. I'll get into more detail of songs as we get higher up in the list, but um, yeah, so let's just, head, let's head into it. Uh, we've got at number 50, A5's Crypto Chrome. Uh, 49 is Effin featuring Anna Sophia Henry with Painted. 48 is No Takers Almost 3 AM. 47 is Party Favor featuring Lil Nar Spirits Part 2. Really fun track, really enjoy that one. Uh, 46 is Pharrell Williams, 21 Savage, and Tyler the Creator with Cash In, Cash Out. Rap song there. 45 is Space Laces' is Droid. Uh, 44 is The Weeknd, Take My Breath. Uh, 43 is Billie Eilish's TV. 42 is Former Hero Branches. Uh, 41, Candyland Nirvana. 40 is Hello World featuring Adam Turley with Pretend. Uh, 39 is Cloud Nuns from Here VIP. Uh, 38 is Bad Computer Just Dance. 37 is Stonebank NML's Future Rave, Good For Me is the name of the track. Uh, 36 is Rogue's Return with Guiding Light. Uh, 35 is Cookie Monster, um, po posthumous track with Flux Pavilion and Coven. I'm Delighted is the name of that one. Uh, 34 is Drinks On Me, featuring Katie Bosworth with Be Mine. Uh, then 33 is Eptic, Lost in Space. Uh, 32 is Disclosure and Zed, You've Got to Let Go If You Wanna Be Free. Name of the track there. Uh, then 31 is Vancouver Sleep Clinic's Love You Like I Do, with some biblically accurate angels in that music video. Uh, 30 is Sun Lux and Moses Sumney with Fence from the uh, great movie soundtrack from Everywhere and Everyone's, every, Everywhere and Every Time, All at Once, something like that. Uh, 29 is On Planet's Gruesome. Uh, 28 is Milk Blood featuring Paris with Wicked, my number one EP of the year being right there. Uh, 27 is Nick Smith's Hold Up. Uh, 26 is Jaren's Death Spirit, or however you want to pronounce that, because uh, it's got a funky name to there. Uh, 25 hitting the halfway point is Crylot's Labyrinth, a great EP, but this um, overall great EP was good, but this song is definitely the best of it all. Uh, 24, Swedish House Mafia featuring ASAP Rocky Frankenstein. My favorite from the Swedish House Mafia return is actually ended up being Frankenstein. Uh, 23, the melodic dubstep song of Seven Lines featuring Vancouver Sleep Clinic with Call On Me. Uh, and then 22 is Sharks' Shiver, the my favorite NCS track of all time right there. And uh, 21, we've got What's So Not featuring Oliver Tree and Killer Mike with Mr. Regular. That one's a fun one. At 20, we've got A Cloudy, a cloudy Sky with Thief. A uh, great long track here. This one is quite a long experience journey to take on there. I think it's 12 minutes long. Fantastic. Uh, 19 is Chime and the Living Proof with The Takeover. On Heaven Sent, actually, this one ended up being, but a great mixture of melodic dubstep and color bass and just feels like a very future-esque dubstep sound, uh, I would say, with this one here. So, uh, And then 18 is Monica Martin and James Blake, Go Easy Kid. I've been a huge James Blake fan over the last little bit, and this is just a fantastic, well-produced singer-songwriter style song. It is... Um, it is it, it, it hits you. It hits you a little bit. Very low kind of acoustic track that I, I personally enjoyed. Um, one that I guarantee you haven't heard uh, from this list. Uh, 17, we got Kai Whiston and Eden with Carrier Signal from the uh, kind of crazy out there uh, album from Kai Whiston. So uh, that'll be in the albums video that we'll talk about at some point. And we got Fox Stevenson with Get Through with hopefully some upcoming project. I hope at some point here. Uh, there's a lot of album art that's very similar. So I'd hope to see uh, some larger project here from Fox Stevenson uh, heading into 2023. At 15, we've got Swarty's You Belong slash Built Myself. 
fantastic double-sided track here. And if at this point, you may recognize that this is now headed into the top 10 EDM songs. So there are now five songs above this that are not EDM that I haven't talked about, but obviously I've talked about some of these songs in more length um, in that other video. So you can go check that out if you want to hear these in more length. But uh, 14 is No Man Is Out of the Dark at number nine, the kind of old school nostalgic hit for me there. It sounded like some uh, old 2010s uh, Dead Mouse. So big, big fan of Out of the Dark here. Uh, 13 is Skybreak, uh, Athero, and Mizu with Journey's End. Talked about that one quite a bit. That landed on number eight on my uh, top 10 EDM songs of the year. And then number 12 is Odessa featuring Betty Levette's The Last Goodbye. Okay, Last Goodbye. I, I almost put uh, Light of Day here, but I think Last Goodbye in the end just beats out a little bit. So fantastic tracks, both those, but uh, Last Goodbye is there. Uh, number 11, Name to a Face by Sam Gallatry. Fantastic VF Volume 2 mixtape that I thought was so good. Um, beat Fred again. Fred again even didn't even make this list, honestly. I like the tracks, um, uh, but uh, especially Delilah, but uh, this one just is better than anything else, I think, for sure. So, uh, And then we've got uh, heading into the top 10 and finally a new top 10, I guess, track uh, to make it into the whole list here is Quadeca featuring the Sunday Service Choir Fractions of Infinity. Great, great album with Quadeca here um, that I won't spoil for the albums video, but if you are watching this later after whatever Jan 12, you can go watch that or Jan 13, the uh, albums video. It is up there at some point. I won't spoil, but it, there's an album up there coming at some point. So fan fantastic. Uh, number nine, we've got Porter Robinson and League of Legends. Everything goes on a just match made in heaven between these two, uh, I guess, companies, the company and the artist. Fantastic music video, won a uh, bow tie award for music video of the year as well. And uh, as we hop into number eight is Emanu featuring K K Kuchka. Yes, that's how you say it. Uh, it's Our Destiny. Oh man, the flume sounding track here, even though this isn't the most drum and bass song from the rest of the album, the album was absolutely fantastic. And this was the best way to start it off, I think for sure. So uh, that is Emanu. Uh, number seven, Kendrick Lamar, The Heart Part Five. Uh, the um, big, big album came out from Kendrick this year, but I think it was the single that was released beforehand that was just a little bit more personal, a little bit more touching, and oh man, just the the flows, the style, the the uh, the storytelling of that whole track was just absolutely harrowing, I would say, if anything. So, uh, number six is Grabbit's Teleport, uh, the absolutely killer one-two punch of alternative dance and a kind of weird dubstep heavy rock. Uh, drop and grab it's absolutely killed this year and uh, that would be my number six uh, headed into the number five is Denzel Curry's Walkin this was my number one stream song on Spotify this year I absolutely love the thing it came out early uh, 2022 and I just played it non-stop it was fantastic one of the better rap songs I've heard this year hands down and it is my favorite rap song of the year so no more rap in here uh, as we head into number four is Flume featuring Damon Albarn with Palaces, the title track and the finale track uh, of the album of the same name, Palaces. Um, Damon Albarn from Gorillaz, if you don't know who that is, the uh, the voice of the song is the artistic mastermind that is Gorillaz, but a fantastic track way to end off a whole uh, era right there from Flume. Uh, number three is Eden's Call Me Back. I'm an absolutely huge Eden fan. I've got um, all of his vinyls right here. It's hard to see a little bit, but I uh, absolutely love Eden. And Call Me Back was the best track from the album, hands down, from the ICYMI album. Album was a little lacking overall, all things considered, but uh, the uh, Call Me Back was, was fantastic. So, And our penultimate track is... Joji's Glimpse of Us. Oh man, Joji's gotten better and better and better over the years. And this is probably his best song, I think, yet. Um, Give Me Love uh, and Run were in my uh, two of my top five most streamed songs last year. Uh, Glimpse of Us, sadly, I, I, uh, it didn't make it this year, but uh, absolutely fantastic track. And uh, with that, number one, you probably know what it is. It is Grant and Ellis, Dead Man Walking. I've said this a ton already. I've talked about it a lot, but uh, absolutely banger track. Uh, it is mixed so well. The The styles have clashed in such a phenomenal way that lift each other up and make it each of their, honestly, maybe some of their best songs ever. So, uh, But yeah, that's it. That is my top 50 songs of the year. Uh, I don't know if you like this style more than the more well-produced video style. I, I'd be, I feel like it'd be crazy if you like this more than the other thing, but uh, all in all, that is my top 50 songs of the year. And I'd love to hear what uh, your top song is years in the comment section below. But other than that, uh, I've been both Bowtie Media. I'm looking for those comments in the, in the section below to see what you guys love. And uh, I'll see you guys in another video.